Hello everyone, this is Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about some tips about how to connect our bird box cameras to the network. Our bird box cameras are designed for us to put them in our birdhouses. When the birds visit our backyard, we use the birdhouses as like hospitality and let them live inside. And then we would wonder what happens inside. We can set up these small bird box cameras within, and then we can take a look at the birds' daily lives without disturbing them. Although these cameras, are, we need to connect it to the network in order to let us see the images. And we have a mobile app that will help us look at the camera and take access to the camera and hear the birds tweet, even record Snapchat, send it to our uh, Facebook or our Twitters. It's very convenient. So how do we connect these to the internet? This is what we're gonna talk about. So we have two versions of the bird box cameras. One is the wireless Wi-Fi bird box camera. You can see it has an antenna right here. So the bird box camera transmits its signal like any wireless, de wireless devices, like our phones, wireless signals. And this is our wired bird box camera. This one has PoE port, the ethernet port here. It will connect to our router, our PoE switch, any devices with the ethernet port, and then it will provide the power and data through the single port. It's very convenient and it has a better, it has a better stability than the Wi-Fi bird box camera, the Wi-Fi bird box camera has more mobility. So you can't say which one's the best, but they all have their pros and cons. You just have to choose one that fits your needs the most. So now let's take a look at how we connect them. So the most trickier one is the Wi-Fi bird box camera because when you get a new camera, there are usually more configurations needed. First of all, we connect it to the power. So once you connect it to the power, maybe a few seconds, you'll hear a little click. If you don't, it doesn't matter. The click means the, the camera is turned on now. And now the first step for a new camera is we have to connect to its internal Wi-Fi. So there is a cap right here, remove it, push it three times continuously, and this will, set it to its configuration mode, it will turn on its internal Wi-Fi, and we will access it. So now, once I've turned on the internal Wi-Fi of our bird box camera, I will go use my mobile device. In this case, I'm gonna use an iPhone, or Android, tablet, they all work. You go to settings, you look for the Wi-Fi networks. There are networks that start with IPC. This is usually our bird box camera, and then uh, now we turn, uh, we enter the password. The passwords all default, default as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and then we join. This will give us access to the internal Wi-Fi, which means we can access the camera. Now it's connected. Let's go to our mobile app ICC. Turn on, open our app, and. Now it shows us we are connected to the device hotspot. Now do we want to access it directly? And we go yes. And then you can see we have image, we have vi visual on our camera. So now we are sure that it is a working camera. All we need to do is go to settings right here and go to settings right here. There's advanced settings. No, so we Network settings. Now we go to settings right here, and then we go to the network settings, and then there's this, this, this access point mode, then we choose router mode, and then we just feed, we enter the name of our wireless network and the password down there, and then we save it. Once we save it, it will connect back directly under the same network, and in that case, we will be able to access our bird box camera with other devices just looking for the same device under a router. It's really easy. But if you really like a direct connection, you can also use this whenever you're close to the bird box camera. It all depends on you. Now that's all about our Wi-Fi bird box camera. Let's talk about our wireless, uh, wired PoE bird box camera. So this one is more easy. You just use an ethernet cable. I'm gonna use a short patch cord just for easy display. So you see this ethernet port, you connect this one end to our PoE switch or PoE injector, anything that will provide PoE signals. And after that, we connect it here and this, this is all that you need, plug and play. Not a lot of configurations needed, but a, another difference thing is 
This one, we don't have to go to Wi-Fi and connect to the internal Wi-Fi. We just go to our bird box camera right here. And back at the list right here, at smart devices, we up the up right here corner, it has a plus. We just add, add the camera on the, on the same router and it will be searching. So this is how the, wi the PoE wired bird box camera work. So these are the two ways we connect these cameras to the internet. Now, if you have any more questions, you can leave them at the section below. Uh, thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.